Okay, so we're over here and um, the Grand Tetons, and we are staying tonight over at Headwaters Lodge and Campground. So this is our RV spot for tonight. Hello, Ro. Hello. Anyway, I just got done sp uh, talking to a couple people, and I understand that we've got the Snake River running right through our campground, and um, <clears throat> I'm going to go and check it out a little bit. Uh, and see if it's something that Rocky and uh, Ron want to join in with. Now, they do have bear up here where we're at. They've got um, a couple of grizzly, couple of grizzly bears that have been hanging around. Um, there's a new uh, grizzly bear to the area. There's a mama and a couple of her cubs and there, a black bear. <clears throat> so anyway, um, we'll be checking it out here. So this is our campground behind our campground. There's a lot of forested area. Um, I don't want I don't want to wander too far off um, in the late afternoon like it is now because um, there are a lot of bear out here. There's black bear and grizzly. There's elk. There's moose. It's all here. Anyway, um so we're hanging around our area. Okay. I'm finding a lot of wildflowers here that are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this spray. Is this fabulous? Woo wee. There's a lot of yarrow out here too. Some pretty stuff. Here's some new bunches here that I haven't seen earlier. Those are really pretty. Okay, so I'm continuing my trek. Um, there's a new grizzly bear hanging on around here in the outer perimeter of our campsite. Um, God, there's so many wildflowers. We're up here in the first part of July, and this is basically springtime. Up here in the Grand Tetons as well as Yellowstone. So you're really finding... Oh, so many wildflowers. I did stop at the bookstore and bought myself a couple of books on uh, the different wildflowers that are in the area. Otherwise, it's just gorgeous. I'm not seeing much. So I'm just yeah, and I'm watching for bear. But there's a lot of um, wildflowers out here right now. It is July. I think it's probably about July 14th. I lost track of time. We've been on the road for quite a while. Checking out different RV spots. Yeah, there's a lot of meadow going through here. So I'm, oh, I see the Snake River from here. But I'm not going down there. It's just way a little bit too far for me. This spot here, we came to do our laundry. <laughs> we'll be heading into Coulter Bay uh, tomorrow. And um, we're going to be doing uh, a few uh, turnouts over in the Grand Teton area where I can do some painting. It really is gorgeous. This is right behind our campground at Headwaters. Uh, lodge and campground. It's freaking beautiful. Uh, that is the Snake River, so somebody told us. And uh, boy, I was really surprised because Snake River runs right through Idaho also, and we're in Wyoming right now. So that's pretty amazing. Anyway, these are some of the, <clears throat> the um, cabins that you can rent out here in uh, Headwaters. Really nice cabins, by the way. They're actually really freaking nice. <laughs> this place is amazing. Look at this view. There's the Grand Tetons. So anyway, there's a mama black bear running around with two of her cubs. There's about three grizzly bears running around the outer perimeters. So I don't want to be out here too long by myself. Wow, look at that shot. 
Okay, so we are just now leaving Headwaters. We're going to be he heading out to uh, Coulter Bay for the night. Um, I just wanted to mention, um, I personally didn't uh, use the showers or the bathrooms uh, this time over here at Headwaters because we had full hookups. So I did use um, the ones in our own bathroom. But I went in here this morning, and boy, I'll tell you, they've got about six shower stalls, about six bathrooms immaculate very very clean very very nice um, probably some of the nicer bathrooms and showers that I've seen at an RV campsite so far um, and plus there's tons of cabins over here they're really nice cabins oh, sorry. Um, this is really a nice place it's a little bit dusty because of the the road but otherwise, um, I'd stay here again. It's a really nice place. It's beautiful. There's beautiful hiking trails. Uh, you got Snake River. Okay, so we are uh, just now leaving uh, Headwaters uh, Lodge and Campground, and we are heading south. <clears throat> and our next uh, stop will be Coulter Bay. And then we're also stopping at Oxbow Bend today. And this is the Snake River. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. Yeah, the sign did say Snake River. And there's Teton National Forest right here, Shuffle Creek. That's a half a mile. There's some of the Tetons. Look at that big hill in front blocking a lot of it, huh? When we get to Jenny Lake, that's when you get the whole picture. Yeah, we might go to Jenny Lake today, too. Well, we'll have to do Oxbow Bend and Jenny Lake today. You know, the wildflowers are incredible. So they had this fire two years ago, and um, all the grasses are back up. Billions of wildflowers. Um, just gorgeous. Same thing in Yellowstone. Everywhere you look, there's just um, wildflowers. And you really can't see them so well um, like this here, but um, you kind of get the idea. And the colors are yellows and whites and purples and reds. Just gorgeous. coming up on something here because everything is blocked up. I don't know if we've got bear, bison, or what, but I'm anxious to find out. Uh-oh, there's flashing lights up here. Is this a wreck? What the hell's going on? Boy, these cars are faced the wrong way. Right there, a bear. Oh, it's a bear! A grizzly! Yay! Right there. Okay. That's why they have the flashing lights and blocked it off. Get the camera. Get the big... And this here is Jackson Lake. And this is between Headwaters Lodge and Coulter Bay. Just gorgeous. And my God, this Jackson Lake is really huge. video of this there's some more of the Tetons this is a really pretty spot inside of the road uh, they have a bunch of beware signs up so you don't go out in the brush out here because they're saying there's a lot of bear activity out here and um, boy this does look like bear country it's just beautiful we're over here at Oxbow Bend this place is just unbelievable and this is south of uh, Coulter Bay RV Resort and north of Jenny Lake what a heck of a view here you can sit right in here
the area at Oxbow Bend. Really beautiful. So in this area here, they have the American White Pelican. They've got moose, cutthroat trout, river otter, Canada geese, trumpeter swans, and beaver. It's absolutely gorgeous through here. Again, what I just really love are all these wildflowers. Yeah, this is really breathtaking. And this is on uh, Jackson Lake Junction um, Road. You just swing around the curve and there you can find Oxbow Bend. That was quite a place.
Thank you. 